Today Food is brought to you by Bush's Beans. Black beans, garbanzo beans, new barbecue baked beans. Bush's makes them all. This morning on Today Food, we are firing up the grill for a festive fourth. No matter where you're celebrating, we have the makings of an epic holiday dinner from ribs to a ribeye. And Ooh. look who's here to help. This is quite the pairing, by the way. This is going to uh, be, be a great cooking show. I know what show. you guys thought you were doing. Anthony Scotto of New York City's <laughs> Fresco by Scotto, Chef Sonny Anderson. The number one restaurant in New York City. Oh, yeah. City. Oh, My yeah. sister. You got to go. Uh, happy Fourth of July. To happy Fourth of Thank July. Thank you. Happy Fourth of July. We're going to come July. down there and do these. Yep. Yes, so we'll get on the grill. Please, Chef. So, well, Anthony, let's start with you. What are we working let's with Let's talk here? about a, a, a prime rib steak. That is a steak. You know, people sometimes would take this in a full rib. Yeah. They'd salt it. They'd put it in the oven. They'd cover it for a couple of hours. It would get very young. Uh, soft, succulent, like a roasted type yeah. situation. I've cut it off the bone. I know, I'm going right. to salt this very easily. And I'm going to bring it over here to the grill. And as you can see, I've already had grill marks here. We're going to cook this probably about 15 or 20 minutes on each side. Okay. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be worn. Keep it very simple. You're going to let it rest then for about 15 gotta minutes. Let it rest. You got to let it rest. If you don't let it rest, it's just going to get oozy and ugly. And now these peppers that we're using. Yeah. So let's talk about that real quickly. Everybody's used to jalapenos, yeah. right? Jalapenos, depending on the size, you got to cut them. You got to take out the seeds. You yeah. don't know how spicy it's going to be. These are Calabrian peppers. They're really simple. They come just the way they are, dried. I've added some chipley the onions and some garlic to this. Just as spicy? And it's a medium spice. It's okay. nothing crazy. So what you're going to do is you're going to kick this off for a couple of minutes. We're going to add a little sugar to this. We're going to add a little red wine vinegar to this. And we're going to let this cook down for about 15 minutes. This is eventually what it's going to look like. Again, medium spice. We'll put that on top of the steak. Voila. Delicious. Voila. And this is ribeye spicy peppers. Unbelievable. Can Calabrian get, spicy peppers. Can I get this on the menu over there? Anytime you want. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Save me a piece of steak. Yes, sir. Let's go over to Miss Anderson. Good yes. to see you. Yeah. What do we have here? We've got ribs two ways. Right? Ribs two ways. We're going to do some beef ribs and then some pork ribs, okay? Wh which one's your preference? Ribs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Craig. Act yes. like you know. Let's start with the beef ribs. Okay. This is my chili, chili, chili sauce for my beef ribs. Okay. The reason why I call it chili, 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 three chilies, okay? Oh. Very simple. It's a one, two, three recipe as well. So it's going to be one tablespoon of red chili flakes, two cups of sambal right next to sriracha in the oh, grocery that's gonna, store. That's give it some bite. Yep, and three cups of chili sauce, okay? Pour that in there. You're going to cook that down. So it's nice and like a little bit of a deeper red, if you can see right here. How long are we talking here? Oh, it's going to take about 15, 20 minutes on a medium high. You're going to pour a little bit off and then um, smell this. You know what this is. That's a little beer. A little beer. That's a little, little beer, beer goes in. That's going to be our basting liquid. Does it matter what kind of beer? No, I mean, I like to do a Pilsner or something light. You know, don't, don't go and into the stout zone. If someone doesn't like the beer, what can you swap out? You can use apple juice or apple cider. Okay. That works perfectly. By the so, way, look at the ladies doing what they do best. Eating it up. Look at Dylan. Goodness. Dylan's over there in her Tom Cruise shades. Fork over here. I don't know what the fork is like. Don't pretend. All right, so you're gonna cover this up, get it onto the grill for like four to five hours. It's gonna be like a 200 degree grill. We've got this all completely sandwiched up. 15 to 20 minutes before it's done, open it up and start basting it with that full blast of the chili sauce. Is it true that you also use water as well while you're basting? Yes. So beneath the grill, what you want to do is put a pan with some kind of liquid, even aromatics if you care to. Two things happen. The juices drip down so you don't get any like flashback from the fire. Oh. Plus it creates that warm, moist environment, which helps break down the connective tissue so you can have that good chew on your ribs. Really quickly. All right, so there goes the that one. Ribs. Now I'm going to show you how to make my herbed mayo sauce oh. for the pork ribs. Oh, it's okay? a different sauce. Different sauce. It's going to start with herbs. So we've got parsley, rosemary, thyme. Chop them down. You're going to get them into a pot here. Worcestershire sauce, apple cider cider vinegar, you're going to put some brown sugar, mustard, a little bit of hot wing sauce. It's got butter and hot sauce together. More beer, More beer onions, <laughs> garlic. All right. So same thing. Going to come over here with some beer. I don't know which. Loosen it up. And you're going to go ahead and brush your ribs down again before you get them onto the grill. The grill should be like 200 to 25 degrees. And that's going to get you at that four to five hour point. You're going to start basting around that four or five hour mark. I'm going to try to make myself useful so we can Look eat. Also, that. really quickly, this yes. side here, what's up? This recipe is available on your website right now. It's my pesto pasta 
oh, or man. potato salad. Fabulous. I show you the dressing, and you can use it for pasta so or good. potatoes. What's the verdict, ladies? Oh my gosh! I'm just, I could just eat all of this. Meat. It's amazing. I'll yeah, eat all peppers. and all with the peppers. these peppers, she was spicy. murdering it. I'm a new but fan. Spicy, but it works. And Sunny will tell you. I'm like eating them back for more. Dylan, I just have one question. Do you feel the need? <laughs> the need for speed. Anthony, Sonny, a big thanks to both of you. Again, all these recipes and more, July 4th menu ideas, today.com slash food. As we head into the holiday weekend, we're getting ready to celebrate America's birthday, and we're going to cool things off with some really refreshing beverages. Yeah, but not everyone wants something red, white, and boozy, so our friend Maureen Petrowski is mixing up some summer sips straight off the pages of her new book, Zero Proof drinks and more. Maureen, first of all, Hi. we're it's hot as can be. Yes. Uh, so we hot. need a cool it's drink. We need a weekend. Yeah, we need a cool drink. So we're talking about mocktails, but they don't you can make them as you like, right? Exactly. You can have a zero proof drink or you can have a full proof, however you like it. But like Jenna said, not everybody wants a booze laden drink or a hangover the next day. We've got a nice long weekend and alcohol free drinks have never been as delicious or as much fun as we're going to show you today. Awesome. Well, let's start yeah. off with what well, you're going to show us something you call the gunner. Is that right? Yes, it's called the Gunner Cocktail. This is really popular in Hong Kong. It's an expat drink. It's really simple. It's just a few ingredients. We've got here some ginger ale, some ginger beer, some bitters, and some lime juice. Now, I'm using a sweetened lime juice. First, I'm going to put my bitters right in the glass. Wait, you know this what? This is easy. We're Guess gonna, you build it right we're in gonna, the glass. We're making it, we're with, making it you. with you, too. I just realized. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, how much ice do you put in? So I like to fill the glass with ice. Fill it you're up gonna build the this top. right in the glass, and then you're going to just pour it in your ingredients. So first, okay. I put my bitters in. Bitters? Bitters, bitters first. Bitters. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. How dashes. much do you use? Bitters, the whole thing? A couple no, no, of dashes. No, no, no. no. A couple so, of what? Dashes? A couple of dashes. A dash. Yeah. Okay. Bitters. One, dash. Take it. two, three. And then the next thing I'm going to okay. add is the lime juice. So lime juice. you can use fresh lime juice. And again, this is also just a dash. Just a dash. So a little bit Don't dump goes it. a long way. Mm. And then we're going to add half ginger ale and half ginger beer. Half ginger ale and half ginger beer. Half ginger beer. Now, and Maureen, if you want, if you wanted yeah. to add alcohol, what would you put in this? So beer. this is, it's got that nice ginger, <laughs> not beer, no, so ginger beer is actually non-alcoholic, but if you wanted to add alcohol, this goes great with bourbon, a nice sweet bourbon. Oh, bourbon. Um, just think mm, about that, okay. ginger and bourbon, it. it's a great cocktail. Yeah, ginger beer is ginger ale without the sugar, basically. It's it. a little bit more gingery, if you would. Wow, what do you I think? might have overdone the lime. Some, Taste mine. Mine went wrong. <laughs> Taste mine. Taste, Taste mine. mine. Something was okay. wrong. Okay, how did Hoda do? Oh. Mm. I like it. Hoda's is better than mine. Yeah, but I like both of them. Did I, it get better? Yeah, it's not okay. bad. And I thought that this is real I know good. That it's like refreshing. Moscow Mule. So if you like a Moscow Mule, this is a gingery, mm -hmm. non-alcoholic version kind of of that. Mm. So okay, that's and really then the, good. Talk to us about a shrub. Yeah, what's a shrub? Okay, so this sounds a little bit weird, I know, but a shrub is a building block that can be used for all zero-proof drinks, but also all full-proof cocktails as well. It's basically the foundation, and it sounds strange, but here I've got lemon peels in sugar, okay. and then you add to that some vinegar. I know, vinegar sounds like something you don't want to drink, no. but basically what happens is you let this all sit, and then you strain out the lemon peels, and you add in some freshly squeezed lemon juice and lime juice, and you've got this delicious shrub that you can keep in your refrigerator for up to six months. But the beginning of the book starts with shrubs and syrup. So that's the building blocks. I've got a strawberry balsamic shrub. I have a cherry shrub. And then this is a pineapple mint shrub. So basically, this is the beginning of your flavors. And then we can build tons of zero proof cool. drinks from that. And I'm going to show you a couple more right here. Yeah, right. the spicy watermelon. We, uh, this sounds yummy. So this is perfect for the 4th of July weekend. We've got that red color. In my shaker, I already have some ice. I'm going to add some fresh watermelon yeah. juice. Mm -hmm. watermelon and juice. I'm making a bigger oh, batch so then. Mm. Yes. What it's else? so delicious, right? It is so hydrating on a hot, hot day. So then I've got here some chipotle. This is a can of chipotles. This adobo sauce is what you want. So chipotle? we're going to add this yeah. right in. Wow. What I know that's, you that's your about? spice. That's the spice, oh. but it's real spicy. I've, that's the spice. It gets that smokiness. Okay. Think about pairing this with barbecue. It's going to be delicious. Mm. And then this is the lemon lime shrub. So again, I know that vinegar sounds like a strange thing, but vinegar adds the acidity to the drink. Mm -hmm. And that's what actually makes your mouth water and makes you want to have more of it. So we'll get this nice and chilled. You want to give it a good shake. Okay. 
And then since this is a spicy watermelon sip, we're gonna put a spicy salt rimmer. So I take my glass yeah. and just a fresh lime wedge mm, and it's spicy. So I'm only gonna put it on half of the rim, mm -hmm. just like that. That's enough. Now, if you love really spicy, you can go ahead and add the whole the whole so rim. Just pour that in but there. But in this case, mm. I'm just gonna pour this right in here. That watermelon juice. It's so easy to get watermelon juice. If you don't have a place you can buy it, you simply just use the flesh of the watermelon. This is nice and chilled now. Maureen, and this looks so that. yummy. I know that there are so many more in your book, which yes. we will tell everyone to get to. But for these yes. recipes and more, and Maureen's book, you can head to today.com slash food. Thank, Thank you, you, Maureen. Thank you, Maureen. Yummy. Okay. Thanks, guys. And happy fourth. Happy you too. fourth. <laughs> We're back. We're back with today's food. And this 4th of July, if you're still looking for some last-minute additions to that backyard barbecue, fear not. We've got you covered this morning. This is grilling expert, Chef David Rose. He's here with two easy-to-make dishes. David, we're going to be spending a lot of time together today. Yes, morning, noon, night, maybe midnight. I don't know, Fred, we're going to say. You're doing the, the 4th of July fireworks yes. show at the Macy's show. Folks who tune in for that tonight, what can they expect? They can expect delicious barbecue, okay. fun, excitement, music. Yes. Me. Yes. These arms. Yes. Craig Melvin. Those are some serious I'm saying. <laughs> so let's a lot going on. On. Let's get started here. So what, yes. what's our first recipe? All right. So first recipe, what we have here, we're going to do some barbecue meatballs. So a lot of times after your barbecue, you have a lot of extra ground yes. beef or last minute items. So we're doing some barbecue meatballs. Barbecue meatballs. So first things right. first, barbecue sauce, of course. Mm -hmm. So you want to have some molasses for sweet. a little bit of sweet. I'm going to have you add that apple cider right. vinegar oh. in there, Greg, because wow. you want to have acid, you know? Molasses. You want something to cut through that fattiness. All okay. Right. Next, you want to add our spices. I see some brown sugar. Yes, sir. Brown I see some sugar. Smoked Paprika. Yep, yep. I see some garlic powder, yep. salt, pepper, and, and cayenne for that heat, brother. Uh, yeah. Gotta have that heat. Cayenne. Sweet heat, baby. Heat. All right. Sweet. I love it. There you go. So you whisk that up right there. Right. You bring it up to a boil. Okay. Then you bring it up to a simmer. Let it this relax. This sauce is really good. As it comes good. to room temperature. That sauce is fire, right? Oh that, is that sauce is yes, fire. Amazing. All right. Now to the ground beef. You want to season your meat. At my barbecue, at your barbecue, yeah. we do flavor. Yes, we do. No bland. No bland. No bland. No. All right. So what's that right there, Craig? What do we got? A garlic powder. Powder. Garlic powder. Salt. Boom. Salt. Pepper. Boom. I see more cayenne. Paprika. Smoked paprika. Ooh. Paprika or paprika, depending on where you're from. Uh, okay. So you mix that all together, and then you stir that mm. like this. With right your beef, what do you there. use? What's, what's your beef secret? Right there, essentially, you know, with more so than the blend, you want to use the uh, the percentage. So a lot of times, 80-20 oh, wow. or 70-30. That's beef to so fat that. ratio, because you want fat for that juiciness yes, and mouthfeel. Mm. No dry burgers. So this all is right. going in the cast yes, iron. Yes, cast iron burgers. right there. We use the ice cream scoop. For uniform size, oh, you get that nice sizzle on there. Get that brown, oh left, goodness. right, top, bottom. When they're done, come on down oh, here, Craig. Come on down here. Here we go. Dylan, right. right there. Right. Right. It looks like it's that Brown is flavor. <laughs> brown is flavor. When you see right there, you can eat that right there. It's as really good, is, Craig. Ooh, but you know what? Wow. We're making barbecue meatball, so we add that sauce. Oh, and you put oh, it back oh. in the oven. Back in there. Bam. Back in there. Oh, it's grilling time. So if you want to throw it on the grill, okay. we can do that too. That's sauce. It's nice and loud. Ridiculous. And sticky. Aren't those meatballs the bomb? So there we Ridiculous. go, baby. Y'all only have like a minute left. Going, Craig. You use them Watch that time. Watch that time. Oh, I got you. I got you. I Watch that time. Dig it. Dig it. Appreciate that. What we think? He's got a fireworks show to host. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. I'll tell you again, bro. We pound it a half. There we go. We pound it. All right. So that's right there. This is really good. Isn't that good? I appreciate it. That's how it's coming from you, man. Thank you. All right, let's move on down the line. We're going to, again, repurpose. This is the cheeseburger dip. Yes, the cheeseburger dip right here, baby. A lot of times, you know, you have cheeseburgers. What's the barbecue without cheeseburgers, right? Not a barbecue. It's not a barbecue, you know? All right. So what I did, I browned off some ground meat, and I put some caramelized onions in there. Some onions, yellow onions, so they're nice and caramelized. And then I take them out. I add them to a little bit of room temperature cream cheese. Oh, that cream wow. cheese is going to give it flavor. Yeah. You know? All right. So we add that in there. Room temperature is a must oh because God. you want it to be malleable and form into a dip. A little bit of heavy cream. Heavy cream. Oh, give it some viscosity. So and then seconds, cheese, baby. Let's do it. Cheese. Cheese. Is so good. Cheddar. Mozzarella. Yes. Mozzarella. Yes. Yes. Ground beef. There's your ground beef. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. We put that into a cast iron oh my God. right oh. there. Nice and sizzly and bubbly. What we want to do first is more ground beef. Beef on top. Oh, more cheese on layers. top. Oh my God. Layers, baby. We layering. I love so it's this. nice and brown and brulee. This is amazing. We add some lettuce, some tomatoes, a oh. little bit of that special sauce. I can't tell you. <laughs> that right there. Boys and girls. Last minute I barbecue. Know, I don't know why I'm pairing this with water. Okay. <laughs> 
We need a beer. We need a beer. Yeah. Last time I was here, I offered you a beer when you were pregnant. Ah. But you're good now. You're ready now, baby. You're ready now. You're ready now. David, thank you. We'll see you tonight at the fireworks show. This is fantastic. By the way, you can find these recipes at today.com slash food. Also, check out our barbecue bash marathon. It's streaming right now on the Today All Day channel on Peacock or your smart TV. And don't forget, tonight, the Macy's 4th of July fireworks show right here on NBC and streaming on Peacock as well. And folks, as we head to break, a huge thank you to the United States Air Force yes. 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 for spending their morning with us, for helping us celebrate the 4th of July. And here they are once again performing God Bless America. Happy 4th, everyone. Happy 4th. Happy 4th.